Okay, so we're going to take a quick look at question number one. So in question number one, you have it on your paper, but we have a right triangle. Uh, there's a right angle at A, C is up here on the right corner, A and B down below. And then we got two sides that we know for sure, four and five. Over here we have, uh, we got to find out a bunch of different things, six different things. All three sides and all three angles. There are three of those six things that we can list right away. We know angle A is 90 degrees. That's in the picture. Okay. Also in the picture, length of AB is 4. Length of BC is 5. Okay, now there's three things left that we still have to find. Um, we have to find the length of AC, the length of, or excuse me, the measure of angle B, and the measure of angle C. So let's start with AC. Now I'm going to use red for everything I do for AC. You can use different colors if you want to help you keep track, but I'm going to do AC. And when I'm doing it, I'm just going to put a little X there. X is what we use for something we don't know. Now it's a right triangle. There are three sides, and we know two of them. In your notes, you said if we know two sides, then use the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to Pythagorean theorem. we got X squared plus 4 squared. That's the other leg. Equals 5 squared, the hypotenuse squared. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. AC squared, 4 squared equals 5 squared. So we get x squared plus 16 equals 25. Okay, so then x squared equals 9 and x equals 3. Now we would subtract 16 from both sides, take the square root. You all know how to do that. I'm not worried about you. AC is 3. Now, this is up to you, but I don't like to write three on the picture. I like to keep the picture clean and so I'm only focusing on the information that's there and not confusing myself. Okay? Let's do the next thing we're going to find. B. Got to find B next. Why? It's just the order we're going in. If you're like, that's stupid, I'm going to find C, then great. Find C. Just do it right. So I'm going to find B. I'm going to put a little X there to tell me what I'm trying to find. Finding angles. We're going to circle the angle and label the sides. Now, this x up here on top for ac, we know it. Yes, it's 3, but I'm not going to use it in the picture because it's going to confuse me. I'm going to look at the two sides that I have. Of course, of course, 5 is the hypotenuse. 4, right next door, is the adjacent side. Adjacent hypotenuse. That we are going to use cosine. A and H, we use cosine. So we're going to do cosine of the angle. In this case, the angle is B. Cosine of B. Great. Cosine of B, adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent side is 4. The hypotenuse is 5. Love it. It looks so good. And now to undo cosine, we are going to do cosine inverse. The whole goal is that the cosine inverse and the cosine cancel each other out. So then we're left with the fact that B equals, and then if I know what B equals, we go to our calculator. So it's on your calculator, you know what you have to do to punch it in to get the right answer. And cosine inverse of 4 fifths is 36.86989765, right? So we're going to round that. Now, today you round all of your angles to the nearest degree, the nearest whole number degree. So yes, it's 36.86989, but I'm just going to round it to 37 degrees. Okay. Now is my most favorite part. It's the easiest part. When you have two angles, now that you have two angles, triangles always add up to 180. So for angle C, we're going to do 180. We're going to take away that 90 degree angle from A, we're going to take away that 37 degree angle from B, and we are left with 53 degrees for angle C. Get your calculator out and calculate it if you don't believe me. Okay, that is an example problem. In your packet of awesome math things, question three is like this one. Question four is like this one. Question eight and question 10 and question 11. So three, four, eight, 10, 11. So refer back to these examples for these 
five questions. Is that right? Did I miss something for Awesome. Okay, so in the packet, these are the ones you want to reference. 